Nothing in our career has ever compared to the storm we tracked on May 3, 1999. Native Oklahomans are used to the insanity of living in Tornado Alley, but for many, that was a storm that changed everything. It opened up a lot of eyes to the damage that can be caused by a single tornado. It's all tornadoes imminent. Now here comes the funnel. I have condensation cloud. My winds are picking up. And here, here come the winds, Mike. 40 going to 50. Rapid, rapid rotation. Rapid rotation, Mike. Here we go. Winds to 50 to 60 miles an hour. Rotation increasing. Here we go. Winds to 80 miles an hour, Mike. I'm just 80 miles an hour. Tornado on the ground. Tornado on the ground. Winds to 80 miles an hour. Tornado on the ground. Dave, David, do you have it? Yeah, Mike. Mike. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. D David, go ahead. You're yeah, on. Yeah, Mike, I've got a multiple vortex tornado here about uh, half a mile to my northwest. I've got multiple vortices on the ground. Maxi okay. Uh, a very, very large tornado, Mike. David, where from Laverty are you currently located? I am one mile. I am one mile north of Laverty on the paved road, just north of Laverty here. I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five separate vortices here, five separate tornadoes rotating in the main tornado here on the ground, folks. And, I mean, it is serious. I see debris ripping up off the ground in condensation or cloud funnels here. Uh, violently rotating around the main upper tornado and again uh, right now he just passed over a pond he just passed over a pond and now there's vortices coming over the pond right now oh. power flashes and major debris in the air major debris in the air uh, Mike it's, 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 it's two miles it's, it's a mile and a half north of the road there's the storm tractor, and once again, the hook is located to the southeast of Verdon and west-southwest of downtown Chickasha. Uh, for you folks in Chickasha, here's what we're dealing with. If this continues a straight path to the northeast, it'll graze the northwestern sides of Chickasha. If it turns ever so slightly to the right, there is the potential of this tornado coming into Chickasha. We need to just stress that because it is a possibility. just about to an eighth of a mile east of Amber and over my shoulder now the tornado coming to the ground again and what you're looking at there is a violent violent rapidly rotating tornado estimated width there about uh, an eighth to uh, maybe a quarter of a mile wide and again winds in there approaching 200 miles an hour where we are we have winds flowing into the tornado right now at about the 70 to 80 miles an hour but again now here it is it's getting bigger over my shoulder we're going to a quarter to a half mile wide tornado now on the ground south and east of amber here uh, about an about a mile and a half a very very large maxi tornado on the ground Let's go to Jim Gardner. Jim, can you see the Bailey Turnpike in reference to that tornado? The Bailey Turnpike is right at the bottom of your screen there, Mike. If you lower your head right behind the, the, right there, right there it is. And the tornado is just north there of it. There it is. It, it is tracking Bailey. north, northeast. Oh, wow. It appears to get a little closer. Mike, this thing is just absolutely huge. But we're kind of, we're kind of concerned. We're watching right next to us, Mike. I mean, just literally a couple hundred feet from us. We got another rotation oh, no. right oh, next God. to us. So we may have to widen out here, but you're, I hope people can see, I don't know if they can see what we're seeing, if the picture's really clear, but this is just phenomenal, Mike. Yes. I mean, this we, is just we, absolutely incredible. We, we now have reports of car, a car flipped over on the Bailey Turnpike at mile marker uh, 94. What are those lights? So Jim Gardner, uh, those lights in the foreground, Roger. what are those lights right there, Jim? That is the toll booth of, H, of the H.E. Bailey. And those are Mike cars. Those are cars, aren't and there's they? Car, well, no, those are the lights from the toll booth. It appears that the emergency oh vehicles my. have done a great job. We're coming over. There's several fire trucks on H.E. Bailey right in front of me. And yes, emergency please. units, it appears they've done a great job, Mike, of trying to clear this thing before it crosses. I'm Cleveland, McLean County's completely different story. Newcastle to Moore to North Norman, immediate danger of a large tornado moving through your neighborhood. If you can get below ground, even if it's two homes away from you, if you live in Moore or Norman, go there now and get below ground. Is this? Ready. And here it is. Back up, back up, back up. Right. Backing up, we're backing up. Hello? Back up, back up. Give me on the air, give me on the air. Back up. Give me on the air, I'm having to back out of it. I'm too close, I'm too close.
Okay. David, go ahead. Okay, Mike, I'm on a southwest 149, just north of the river, and an F3, F4 tornado. I just had to back out. I was too close. Uh, I have to admit, I had to back out a little bit. Got a little scared there for a second. Again, uh, uh, it's crossing. It's crossing southwest 149th right now. You can hear the tornado from 89th Street. You can hear the roar. Look at all the debris. Look at all the debris in the air. Folks, please, we plead with you. You absolutely have got to get down. Get, get to the lowest level you possibly can. We plead with you, do not take the extra minute or two. We plead with you to get below ground, get in the interior closet or bathroom, get in the bathtub. We plead with you. There it is crossing Interstate 35. There is a tremendous amount of debris in the air. We pray and plead with you, please get down now. If you're I-35, get out of your car. If you're east of I-35, over to Taker Air Force Base, please, we plead with you, go to your safe spot now, take your radio, forget the live pictures, go get safe. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Dan, it's on, it's on 240. It's, I'm just, I'm a mile east of okay, City Lane. Lines, it's on 240 by. in City Lane. I've got major, major, backing. major, major damage here on 240 uh, eastbound here. I just passed Sunny Lane. I've got west. Uh, oh. Yeah, they're, you can see oh. they're exploding. The transformers are it's still on the ground. It's just eating land just right and left, Mike. I it, mean, it's just it incredible. Is, it's still turning more to the left. And as it turns to the left, it takes it deeper into Midwest City. Uh, and folks, we are talking about uh, potentially it looks to be an F4 tornado, winds over 200 miles an hour uh, near Southeast 29th and Sooner Road currently. Uh, if you live along Southeast 15th, Reno Avenue oh, from Sooner over to Air Depot, Midwest, Douglas Boulevards. You folks, you have the possibility of having a large tornado go through your area. So you need to be in your safe spot now. Go ahead, Jim. Mike. Yes. Uh, you got to look at this. this. This is phenomenal. It's gone. The neighborhood is gone. We are over a neighborhood just west of Tinker Air Force Base. It is gone, Mike. Up here, Steve. Up here. Up here. Pan up here. I mean, we come around and pull back. It's gone. It's level. There's nothing here. I mean, it's incredible. The damage, there must be 350 homes, Mike, that are gone. It's just foundations and rubble. I mean, it just, it's incredible. Is this your house? I don't know where my house okay. is. I was in the closet right here. Thank you, earthquakes. We'll get you in the rodeo, okay? Open the rodeo. Have sit back there. Okay? Forty-four people died that day, but...